When Bill Hughes saw what he wanted, obstacles might hinder his way, but nothing stopped him. Bill and Nancy went on to have three daughters, Lynn, Barbara, and Tama, and a son, William. Bill, Bill Hughes, the testator of the father, was a genuine, down-to-earth person. First of all, he knew how to listen to people. If you, if you watch Ambassador Hughes, watch how he makes contact with you. He never loses eye contact with you. He is a considerate human being. Um, he exudes civility. Um, in many respects, he is almost a 180 from what we see every single day now. I consider Bill Hughes to be, uh, first, a gentleman, secondly, a very smart individual, and a very balanced individual. I mean, there hasn't been too many things in Ocean City that Ambassador and his wife and family have not been a part of. So, as the mayor of Ocean City, I'm internally grateful for all his contributions. In typical Bill Hughes fashion, he wanted something important done, no one would do it, so he took on the job. A Democrat could not win a congressional seat because it was overwhelmingly Republican. And people were disbelievers at first that I could win. And we brought him around, but Nancy was the one that helped build a uh, massive get out the vote out effort. Uh, she was the one that helped put together the volunteers. She's on the telephone every day at the beginning, trying to line up volunteers to help us in the various counties that I represented in Congress eventually. She was an amazing control officer of what was going on. When you have five or 600 volunteers, you need somebody that can keep them happy, pull them together, assign jobs to them, make sure they're all happy. Nancy did all that. They had a wonderful married life. They had a, not only a life as husband and wife, but they also had a working relationship that they just, um, they complimented each other. Nancy was the love of his life. She was such a beautiful lady. I've never had such a beautiful lady that I love so much uh, as Nancy. You know, my mother is a very strong person. They had an easy camaraderie between them and enjoyed one another's company. And Bill trusted Nancy's judgment and he appreciated her um, excellent memory and organizational skills. My mother was the iron fist with a velvet glove. She kept on saying she was a homemaker, but she was more than that. I never saw anybody in my life that worked as hard as him. Jim Florio was a Democrat, and, and uh, Bill and I worked with uh, Jim Florio on the Pinelands Preservation Act. Bill served 20 years. That's a long time to serve in the United States Congress. I wasn't surprised. What did surprise me was when Al Gore asked him if he'd consider being an ambassador. And that was one of the most important times in the history of America with Panama. With his efforts, we put the Panama Canal back in the hands of the Panamanians. In the, in the beginning, uh, the facility was known as NAFET, National Air Facilities Experimental Center, or FAA Tech Center. And there was a case that to be made for moving it to Oklahoma. Bill marshaled all his resources. He was able to uh, reverse that decision and bring it consolidated here in South Jersey. And as a recognition and an honor, uh, Congress decided to rename it the, Fe the William J. Hughes FAA Technical Center. I, uh, I'm not sure that my career in the Senate, to the extent that it was successful, would have been successful without Bill Hughes. What he wants, he gets. Thank you, Mom and Dad. It's a great ride. Growing up with the name William J. Hughes Jr., um, you have a tall order to fill. Don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I had a great example along the way. Thank you for showing us and having the best parents ever.